Hey, what's up, y'all? I was cracking his D. About to react to this video by Nukes Top 5. This is five scariest things caught on doorbell cameras. I told y'all I would try to do a scary video like every other day or every, you know, few days or something like that. So, you know, we keep we keeping this going. I think we're on a roll so far. So, yeah, we're going to see these scary things caught on doorbell cameras. Um, I've never had a doorbell camera. I don't think I would even get one, you know, um... If I had a house, I don't think I would even bother. Like, I need to have a camera to see who's at my door. Like, I understand people would want to for safety reasons, but I personally wouldn't do it. But let's see what crazy stuff they caught on their cameras. Let's watch. The five scariest things caught on doorbell cameras. A cry for help. This video was posted by Reddit user Unknown Truth. He says that his friend's wife had a very odd experience one day as she walked outside to do the laundry. The incident was caught on their ring doorbell camera. hear some strange noise and it's not coming from the ring camera speaker in fact the eerie moaning seems to be coming right out of the bare wall beside her mm. now i boosted the audio on this clip and well just take a listen voice in the wall seems to be crying out for help. The woman is so freaked out that she actually goes inside and calls the police. I looked down. I didn't see anybody out on the road or any cars or anything. So I went back to my ring video to make sure I wasn't just oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. creatively hearing something. Oh, sorry. Sure. Sure. I can hear somebody saying something, but so, I can't. Well, I posted it on there. The police search the premises, but there's no one there. So just what is this strange disembodied voice that seems to be begging for help? Mm, that's a go. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And like, he don't give a fuck. He like, no girl. treat. <laughs> We, the thought of Halloween sparks images of happy children dressed in costumes rushing from door to door to collect as much candy as they can. But this next video didn't take place on Halloween. It happened in the middle of a sweltering summer day in August in San Antonio, Texas. The bizarre masked man says, trick or treat, smell my feet. Then he seems to get distracted by his own feet. And then he just seems to wander off in a confused state. Aww. Now, one has to wonder if the That's man had been enough. having some special treats of his own. Surprise right, visit. Was, huh? On a warm sunny day in May, Gerald Haywood was visiting a friend's home in Lawton, Oklahoma. Now, in accordance with YouTube's family-friendly content guidelines, let me say in advance that no one was seriously hurt in this clip. But I'll explain that later. Oh! Ah, fuck! Kurt, take me to the hospital! 
porch light. When Gerald opens the door, the snake strikes just above his right eye. Luckily, the snake is not venomous, and the bite above his eye isn't deep. Ooh. Gerald was rushed to the hospital, but didn't require anything more than a couple of band-aids and some light antibiotics. And uh, I have to admit, the first time I watched this video, I thought it was horrific. And That's the second good. time, I thought it was hilarious. Wow, so, I'm sorry, Gerald. Oh, that's just scary. All right, take me to the hospital. 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 Take at 4.23 in the morning, he got an alert that his camera had sensed motion. When he first reviewed the tape, he just noticed this, which just appears to be a spider web moving in the wind. But then, when he looked closer, he noticed this. It looks almost as if some shapeless white face is pressed to the window for a closer look inside. The ring camera, since seeing no more motion, just shuts off. And it didn't turn back on again for the rest of the night. So is this a ghost in the window or just a trick of the light? In another alleged ghost ring video, YouTuber Vengeance Gaming posted a video saying that he thought his ring doorbell had picked up a ghost. what looks like a woman dressed all in white who seems to walk out of the darkness from somewhere near the house and then she just sort of walks off into the dark vengeance gaming who by the way has never posted another paranormal video on his channel suggests that it could be quote the lady in white but it could also simply just be a prank yeah. you decide one night Late one night, an older woman named Kathleen hears something outside her Bristol, Connecticut home. Cautious about opening the door to a stranger, she looks outside and sees someone in a car parked just across the street from her house. She yells from a window. Can I help you? The second time I yelled it, he took off without the lights on and then went flying up the other street. When Kathleen checks her ring doorbell camera, her blood runs cold. He's cheesing like that. <laughs> it looks like a scene right out of a purge movie, and the potential intruder definitely seems to have met Kathleen harm. Watch how he wipes off the door handle, and he's got something heavy in his pocket. Oh, was that Kathleen a mask? contacted the police, but the mysterious man in the smiling mask oh, okay. has never been found. I thought that was his face. It's not all bad. <laughs> After all the weird and scary things that I've counted down in this list, it might seem like doorbell cameras only record frightening things and the absolute worst of human nature. So I wanted to include one last bonus story that 
might at least slightly restore your faith in humanity. Appreciate that. Katie Eagermacris was leaving in a rush one morning from her Washington, D.C. home and forgot to zip her purse. Her wallet fell out somewhere along her way to work. She certainly never expected to see it again. But when she got home, she found this on her doorbell camera. You might have dropped it off. That's what's up. The man who had found her wallet had checked her ID to find her address and then had even delivered her wallet right to her door. He tries to put it in her mailbox, but it won't fit, so he hides it safely under the mat. Katie says that all of her credit cards were there and not even a single dollar was missing. That was really nice of him to do that because it's so inconvenient to lose all your credit cards, your ID, all your personal information. You got to order all that shit again. So that was really cool of him to do that. I like that they ended it on a positive note because every time I watch something scary, I be wanting to watch something, you know, positive and light, like a cartoon usually. Or, you know, something nice like this is fine too. So I, I fucks with that. But this was definitely an interesting video. Y'all let me know what y'all thought. Let me know what other videos you want me to react to. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!